right to watch you. Wow, Peeves. Wow. Hi, welcome back to my channel. I am Cat Lyle, and that was Peeves. Please ignore him. Um, yeah. I am back for what my forty sixth video. I was gonna say birthday. Yeah, it's not my forty sixth birthday. That would be wild. Um yeah, it's just my video. But yeah, I'm back for another video. Cool. Dragon's still sleeping. Everything's as I left it. Yeah. Um, I don't know what we're going to do today, but I'm intrigued by this door for some reason. Is it going to open? Oh. Okay. <sighs> Look, there's a Christmas tree outside. It's beautiful. Hogwarts is so beautiful. Okay, let's see what there is to do before I get too distracted by exploring. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Basis for blackmail. Hmm. My voice is almost back. Can you hear it? It's almost normal. Surprise meeting. The sky's the limit. Um, I feel like we should do that. I know where I know where it's at. I just want a Revelio right here. Revelio. Hey, there's definitely something in this area that I am consistently missing over and over. And I don't know what it is. It doesn't light up, whatever it is. Okay, let's get going. Hogsmeade. I can sell stuff while I'm here. How's your day going? It's going good. Doing. Off on another adventure, are we? If you're listening to this as background noise, I hope whatever you're doing is going well. Just so you know, wow, look at Hawksmead. It's so pretty. Oh, that's beautiful. I feel like um I'm not appropriately dressed. Oh well. Purchase a broom upgrade. Hello again. Wonderful to see you. As before, I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. That's a special price? That's so expensive. You want me to spend $4,000 on this broom upgrade? You'll be thrilled with that broom. I promise you. I better be, bro. That's a lot of money. You're all set with the new upgrade. I can't wait to hear what you think. Okay. <clears throat> this may sound presumptuous, but... You'd like me to report back with even more flight details? Yeah. <laughs> you know me well. I feel I'm almost there. I just think I can improve broom flight a bit more. Okay. Miss Ray's is running yeah. a time trial at the South Coast course. Not ideal, really, what with rumours of Ranrock's lot and Ashwinders infiltrating the place. Huh. However, if you're flying high above them, you should be all right. I should be. I think. Don't scare I'm not me. worried, Mr. Weeks. I'll see if I can find Imelda. I hope you are able to complete these trials. I have a feeling this final upgrade is going to be a sweeping success. Uh -huh. <laughs> Do be careful, of course. I shall look forward to hearing from you soon. Okay, you shall hear from me soon. I look soon. forward to our next meeting. Okay. And I gotta go talk to her, and she's not Revelio. nice to me. She was not nice to anyone. Look at that owl on that post. Do it. That is beautiful, that owl on the post. We're looking all the festive decor. Gorgeous. Perhaps I could test out my new upgrade on the way. I can't fly here. Also, do I have to install those upgrades? Because I have never done that. Or does it automatically do it? Okay, it automatically does it, and I'm not as worried.
Um, who am I supposed to talk to there? That's where I talked to Natty. I wish there was some place like, I guess right here. So how far is this? Whoa, this is far out here. What? Okay, you just want me to go like discover this whole new area? I'll do it. I get to go into the new area. That's exciting. Let's go see some new stuff. I vaguely remember something being right here. Was it a landing spot? Am I making that up? It's all in my head. Okay. Ooh, this is gonna be difficult. Oh wait, there's some balloons, so let's pop those. That was a failed attempt at popping the balloon. Wee. Oh my gosh, I missed it. Ah. Okay. I know I'm not the best at that, but that was ridiculous. Girl! Okay, you gotta stop playing fast. What's that down there? Is it just a light or something? Yeah. What? Why is it doing that sound? So exciting. Going to a new area. Oh, this day's gone on too long. Oh no, thank you. Whoa. Was that a troll? Oh my god, there's a lot going on here. Is this the right place? Am I going the right way? This doesn't seem right. I have to go through that tunnel. No way, I have to go through that tunnel. Um. I'm a little bit concerned about that. Maybe I go do a different quest first. And go talk to Natty first. I don't think I'm ready for that. Cause there's a, that's like a that's a big troll on stuff. I mean I could take the troll probably. I don't know. Got cold feet just a little bit. Go talk to Natty. Revenia. Why am I going this way? What are we doing, Cat Lyle? Take the bridge, Cat Lyle. Don't take the hard place or the hard way everywhere. Okay, I'll meet her right here. Are you ready to put an end to Halo? Yeah. I am. I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. We must gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agabus okay. Filbert, Otto Dibble, and Mr. and Mrs. Rib. All right. Okay. I suggest that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. 
Okay. And as my mother would never go near the hogshead, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. That's reasonable. Very well. I'll speak with them. See what I can learn. I knew I could rely on you. We need to know how they are being blackmailed by Rookwood and Harlow. Okay. Meet me here after you have spoken with them. Will do. Hopefully by the time you return, I will be able to move a bit more freely. As a deer? Oh, Rebellion. look, there's one. Yay. Oh, is there anything up here? Because I've never... I don't know that I've ever been up here. I'm the scarecrow now. I'm really enjoying the scarecrow mask, by the way. I'm just trying to listen to like their conversations a little bit as I walk by. <laughs> they don't like goblins and wizards socializing with each other. A lot of conversation going on. should be nearby. Where are you? He's a bit worried his nephew is a squid. Oh, I didn't Isco. expect that. What have I done? Mrs. Rabe, I wondered if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. I'm a friend of the Bickles and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What do you mean? Why? <laughs> I'm a security guard at Gringotts, and my husband is a curse breaker for them. Harlow oh no. approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. That's horrible. And you declined? Of course I declined. Repeatedly. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone and a note affixed to my door with a knife. The That's not good. stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. Whoa. But the help Harlow wants is help that I cannot give. And my dearest Isco is paying the price. Mm. Have you helped Harlow since your husband was taken? No. I'm worried sick about Isco, but he'd never want me to compromise my integrity. I also know that he's extremely clever. That said, I was hoping he would have escaped by now. It makes me concerned as to why he hasn't. That's reasonable. Okay. What would you guys do? Would you compromise your integrity to save the loved one? Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. Mr. Bickle was trying to help us. But now he's gone. I don't know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Rabe. Very well. Yeah. Here's the note I received. You must be careful as well. Please don't put yourself in danger. I will. Wow. Some evidence worth hanging on to. Thank yeah. you. Oh, I hope it's not too late. I want to hear Mr. about that guy's squid nephew. You said your nephew was a squid. It's an interesting conversation. Okay. Where's Saronia? There she is. Okay. Let's go talk to the other ones. Otto Dibble works at Gladrags. I should check there. 
Yeah, I'll go check there. Uh, but, 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 but please tell me you didn't take it. But perhaps it's been here all... Mr. Dibble, may I speak with you? It's about Theophilus Harlow. I have nothing to say about him. Uh, may I interest you in a stunning cravat today? Yeah. Please, sir, I would like to help. I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. <laughs> you know the Bickles? Mm, all right. But we must be discreet. Kay. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. I know Mr. Hill. He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's a good man. But even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note when you know who came into the shop. Harlow? I had a note behind the counter and offered to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he placed. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent <gasps> order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill, Mr. Hill's daughter. You mm -hmm. see, we've been, well, secretly engaged these oh. past six months. We haven't told Mr. Hill yet. I dare say he has higher Maybe you should tell him. Her. Harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, depended upon my cooperation. Rude. What did he ask you to do? It all happened so quickly. In an instant, he took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. Huh. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. Wow. I've been able to cover for his requests until now with some creative bookkeeping. Oh. But I can't keep it out for much longer. Just tell I'm your secret. to say anything. I could never live without Rosie. Mm. Yeah, I met Mr. Hill the day of the troll attack. He was kind to me. Why don't you just tell him? He's a lovely man. But when it comes to Rosie, I'd lose my job instantly them. and... Thank you okay. for telling me. I'm gathering evidence to take Harlow down. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. He's an awful man and incredibly dangerous. Okay, for well, Rosie's letter, you're just admit to extortion. It, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy it immediately. Understood. Okay. Now hurry off before Mr. Hill returns. We're on the right track. Now to find the last of Mr. Bickle's friends. Yeah, one more. Hmm. Agabus Filbert must be around here somewhere. Somewhere. Right there. Hello oh, there. there's a lock on this door. Excuse Hi. me, Mr. Filbert. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Oh, yeah. tragic. What happened to Bickle? He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. But I feared Harlow's retaliation. Don't and so you. I refused. Um... You may have saved Mr. Bickle's fate if you had spoken out against Harlow, as he requested. Unfortunately, I suspect you're right. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Before yeah, my me. extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, she had just completed a small book of poetry. As a surprise for her birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate... I had the book beautifully bound and plated in gold. That's One nice. day, Harlow came calling to punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprise Rookwood's lot. Whoa. Before I knew it, I'd been petrified, and Harlow was rifling through my home. He found the book of poetry with its exquisite gold plating. Of he I did. watched helplessly, lying there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. I was shaken to my core. Still shook. am, to be you honest. Shook it. I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again. Mm -hmm. But do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. This extortion can't go on forever. You can pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. Okay. I will do that. Harlow also... does not like people talking. Hello, as you I'm already going to open know. This lock I've here. spoken with Mr. Beckles' friends. 
Now to find Natty. I'm guessing she's just back at the same place. This one. Okay, this is kind of simple. Nice house, nothing spectacular, but somewhere cozy to come home to. Rebellion. I don't think there's anything else in here. But I got to unlock the house. Oh wait, I have to look for Demi guys because sometimes she doesn't tell me. And there is one. And I think we've got like two more left here in this village of Hogsmeade. Two or three. Not bad. Okay. I don't think the dummy guys are ever outside. Would you like Let to buy guess. some stuff? You're after something fresh. Guess I am gonna need that mallow sweet after all. And uh -huh, I need that for a potion. Should probably grow some. Please buy my stuff. That one's actually good. Okay. I had to um, buy that broom upgrade and I had no choice. Unfortunately. I don't know anything about that. Oh goodness, pardon me. Sorry. That's the guy who thinks his nephew is a squid. It's not like Natty to be late. She uh -oh. said she was going to the Hogshead. Perhaps I'll find her there. Where are you, Natty? Romley Gaunt was the sword he played. I have to fight somebody, aren't I? Natty must be around here somewhere. Where is she? Huh. Oh, there's one right here too. Nice. Uh oh, wound. her she wand. Can without it. She wanted me to find this. Yeah. She's in trouble. Rebellio where is she? Show me where she was taken. Rebellio. I like how that shows footprints, but only when I need it to. Nosy little students get what's coming to them. <laughs> wow. We have to fight people. Revelio. Natty must have been taken this way. I need to find her quick. They have a hideout under the hawk's head. How long has that been there? Footprints led to this room. There must be another way forward. Yeah, must be. The 
abandoned door. Nice. Patty must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. Now take this coinage. I'd better be sure I'm not seen. Oh. I'm going to fight them anyway, aren't I? Extorting the world. Using that girl as bait. Everyone's coming for us. Well. Who in Hogwarts students would be arrogant enough to come in here alone? Pavelia. That would be me. all of them yeah over here either. well most of them the rest of them gotta be up there Revenia. a lot of coins in here Interesting basement. <laughs> Sad. Can bring them. Yeah. I like that in every hideout there's like um secret places like this to like crawl into which means that the people are hiding things from other people i don't know why that's so funny for me Ooh, rats hi rats rat friend We should speak to her again. Bring her. Oh, goodness. are kind of high level too. Oh, sir, that was a very dramatic situation there for a second. Okay, I feel like there was still something down here though. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm like this. I'm sorry. I just have to go look. No, 
Because I swear, well, I was doing this. Yeah, the book. Oh. Book of poems that was taken from Agabus Philbert. He'll be thrilled to have this back. That's sweet. See, that was the sweet book of poems. Okay, so this is the way I came up. Natty must be here somewhere. Yeah, I'll find you, Natty. You found her. I knew you would realize I had left my Revelio. Okay. You have one moment, please. Hello, Hamora. Oh, this is locked. It's in it. So exciting. Wand. Uh oh. Oh. I'm in the chair. This is my office now. Revenia. Mr. Rape? Daisy told me you'd been abducted. You spoke with my wife. How is she? Worried about you. Are you all right? I am all right. Thank you for coming. Glad you're all right, sir. These locks are cursed. And there's an anti-apparition jinx on the cells. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic cannot free us. I need you to find my wand. Mr. Rape, did. I found your wand. Well done. I knew it was nearby. Now, you best stand back. One okay. never knows how a curse will react to being broken. Otego. Okay, well that was... Not difficult. Rebellion. Stop to find that person's love letter, though. I want to go do that. Thank you, Mr. Isco. My pleasure. And thank you, my friend. Bravery. I may be too weak to just separate with you both. But I can try. You Yeah, we'll get out of here on our own after I find everything. There it is. Be prepared for a fight. These Ashwinders must pay. Oh, wow. This is definitely an interesting letter. Otto Dibble's love letter from Rosie. He wanted me to destroy this if I found it. Should I destroy it? Find a way out. Okay. After collecting all treasure. What's that? Come on, Natty. My friend. Let's get out of here. Let's find Officer Singer and put an end to Harlow once and for all. Okay, let's do that. That sounds like a great idea. Natsai Onai. I should have known. And you, the troll dispatcher. The troll dispatcher. Oh, thank goodness the two of you are safe. Yes, we are safe. Isco Rabe told me a couple of students had rescued him. Should have known it was you too. Is Mr. Rabe all right? He is. I sent him home to his wife. Miss well, Onai, your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're still risking your safety pursuing these dangerous men. Actually, Officer Singer, Natty and I learned of several Hogsmeade residents who've had their lives threatened yeah. by the Ashwinders. In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe to blackmail his wife and Natty, Rookwood and Harlow have also extorted Agabus Filbert and Otto Dibble. Yep. Uh, 
I will look into all of that. As for the two of you, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Next time, please let the authorities handle the Ashwinders. Well, you're not handling them, though. Yeah, you haven't been With much With all due respect, officer, the authorities haven't done much about any of this. There's more to taking down an organization like the Ashwinders than simply storming in and hauling them off based on a few accusations. Not a few accusations, it's a lot. I must insist that you them to us. We shall have no further discussion on this. Wow, okay. Natsai, you may wish to speak with your mother about this before I do. My wow. mother will not like this. Thank you again for rescuing me. We shall speak soon. Okay. Yeah, we'll talk soon, Natty. I'm sorry. There we go. Ma. is a good thing. Builds character. Not a day goes by I don't wish I paid better attention in defense against the dark arts. Oh. Come and listen. I've acquired what muggles call a loot. <laughs> and loot. Very marvelous. Am I getting like side side quests though? That's all like friend quests. Okay, I guess I should go meet Poppy. Have any talent points or anything? Not bad. I've almost got all the field guide pages. See how many are left in Hogsmeade. Just two. I'm trying to think of where I have been in Hogsmeade that doesn't have a field guide page yet. I didn't get. I kind of wish it would show them on the map. I don't know. Figure that out, but there's also one more demiguy statue. And then oh, that's what I was gonna do. Still quite a bit left in Hogwarts. Oh, I can see everything. Interesting. So I got all the Merlin trials. And I got two more here. Interesting. I didn't know I could do this. I still have four more Merlin trials in this area alone. Oh my god, I'm just gonna be doing Merlin trials forever. Thought it was done. I thought it was. There are ten in this area. Four here. Okay. Well, I definitely have a lot to do. Are there any Merlin trails here? No, I got all of them. It's just some in the Hogwarts region. I 
I don't even know begin I don't know where to begin with that. I really don't. I do not know. So I'm gonna start this quest, but I am not going to finish this quest today. I think I'm just gonna talk with her. <laughs> I'm really worried I'm never going to be able to get that one treasure vault that is on the map, but there's no entrance. I am concerned about that. Ooh, this is scary. Oh, this is where we're going to talk to the centaurs, aren't we? Centaur friend. We care about the animals, I promise. I can do this. I can do this. They will want to help. Yeah. Is this where we're meeting the centaurs? Well, they don't exactly know we're coming, so it's less of a meeting and more of a surprise. Maybe I we suppose. shouldn't surprise the centaurs. I'm not sure about this. I can't imagine they're fond of being surprised. We don't have a choice if we want to help the Snidgets. That's true. Perhaps they'll be able to tell that we're sincere there's something about them that's so knowing it's almost unnerving hmm. they are wise they are known for having an air of omniscience that's exactly the right word i just never mind what is it it's nothing truly i've we've no secrets to hide okay that's right We'll simply be honest with them about what we're trying to do. They'll have to help us, won't they? Yes, yeah, of course. They'll have to help You're us. You're absolutely Poppy. right. We'll meet with them, tell them about the Snidgets, and I'm sure to all be fu- Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They're here. They don't like being surprised. What's happening? What do you think you're doing here, humans? Hi, centaurs. We were hoping to speak with you. Ah, I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur and it spoke back. No, no. never. We're here because we need your help. Enough. You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch. Uh oh. Leave them be, Alec. We do not harm the young. It is not he is an old wise our and dark. way. You forget your place, old <gasps> fool. I'm the leader of this herd, and while you cling to our way, oh, their, their kind herd. continue That's to so slaughter cute. beasts like us without a care. I'm not doing it. From what I can see, they have slaughtered no one. They will leave here unharmed. Yeah. Mark my words, Doran. If I ever see them again, it will be all three of your heads. <sighs> wow. Foolish children. Do you know what happens to wizards who wander here? Now, follow me before Golden I... Golden Snidgets are still alive, and the poachers are after them. Yeah. They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means yet. Please help us find the snidgets before the poachers do. Yeah, help us, Centaur. Could it be? In the south, there is a cave within which lies what the poachers seek. A moonstone. Retrieve it and place it in the henge in the forest. Okay. I, on the other hand, must go speak with the herd. Find me after you have done this. I never thought that, that they wouldn't be like a group of people. They're like a herd of centaurs. Like horses. So fancy. I don't understand. So the moonlight mentioned in the journal doesn't refer to actual moonlight, but to a moonstone. Nope, and there's going to be spiders in that cave. Snitches? I know it. And why 
was he so certain about where we could find one? Hmm. He was kind of annoyingly cryptic, but I also feel like he knows things, so... Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger, but I could catch a centaur by his hoof. If he gets mad at you, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I don't know, but I am inclined to believe him. What with his being a centaur and all. I yeah. am too. It is a shame how quickly he left. What was his name? Doran. That's what the leader of the herd called him. Well, if Doran knows something we don't, I'd rather act now and ask questions later. I yeah. can head to the library and start looking into the cave he mentioned. Okay, we do that. You I'll let, let you me know, know what I find. Thank you. Wow. It feels weird to be standing here in this forest like this. Are you going to leave, Poppy? Or, okay. Well, Poppy, I'm going to leave. You keep walking around in circles. Are you okay? Poppy, you're so stressed out. We're gonna find them, don't worry. They always do. Seeing what animals are nearby. There's a treasure vault. Let's go get that before I leave. I guess that's Rebellion. like Revelio on the way, just in case there's anything else here. Oops, oops, I'm gonna hit the trees. Okay. Oh, there's spiders. There's always spiders. Oh, goodness. Oh, this is really down here. Oh. It's one of these ones. I know how to do this. There we go. Thank you for the treasure. Okay. Let's go back to Hogwarts. Oh my gosh, I cannot click on the right spot today. I just want to know where the rest of the stuff is here, you know? I have a quest here. Let's go pick that one up. I already did the bells. By accident. I didn't know it was part of a quest. That was my bad. Did I capture that quest? I don't think so. Now it's giving me more side quests. I'm excited. Heaps, can you not? Since you saved Mr. Rabe and I from oh, the Ashwinders, we have come so far. We should discuss the next steps in our plan to stop Harlow. Yeah, let's do that. Pardon me. Is everything all right? No, no, it's not. Are you upset? We only had two bells to go, but she just had to go and spoil things. I'm afraid uh -oh. I don't follow. Who spoiled things? Also, what bells? <sighs> Professor Black ordered Mr. Moon to take down the bells in the bell tower. Said they were giving him a headache. Mm -hmm. Those bells are a part of Hogwarts. I wasn't about to let that happen. So, I asked my friend Adelaide to help me put them back. We've yeah. always been a duo of sorts. Adelaide and Evangeline. Addie and Evie. Anyway, oh, that's cute. it was going swimmingly until Black started asking questions. Then she wasn't comfortable with our rule breaking. Now I'm stuck, unable to tell which bell goes where. Hmm. I think I already did Perhaps that. I could help put the bells back up. Really? Oh, that would be wonderful. The bells are in the bell tower just above the music room. Okay. You're certainly of more help than Adelaide. Yeah, I'm I already did it, bells, see? So just in... The bells are back up, Evangeline. Ah, oh, you're a credit to the school. I can't wait to hear them. I can't wait for the headmaster to hear them. I wish I could see his face. Mm -hmm. Future generations may not truly appreciate what you've done, but I do. I'm and glad. I hope that you do as well. I do. 
I don't know uh, how much this did means it without for me and what I was for doing. Hogwarts. Ooh. Got a horn thing. Okay. Are there any more? Okay, well, that's natty. I wish there was like a way to just tell who has a quest for me. Maybe there is, and I'm missing it. That's also possible. Sometimes that happens. Okay. And what about in Hogsmeade? I didn't see any in the world map. Anybody got a quest for little old me? No? No one? No one. Okay. I'll go to the room of requirement. That's where I've been leaving things a lot. I can see if I can upgrade anything. Oh, I got to plant my new plants too. Cannot forget. Okay, I'm gonna empty that pot because I'm gonna put some mount grass in there. Um, I have too many mandrakes, is why. And, um, it's not working for me. Do I have any large pots? I think these ones are. Where I grow my cabbages. Maybe I can conjure up a couple more. Okay, I'll put a large pot here. I guess I could rotate it. Oh, I've reached my budget. Okay. Reached my budget for those two. And then I can kind of change it. It's not that. I had the hat. Catalan is getting tired. Put it like right there for now. I need to be growing this. They use it for um, the thunder spell. It's very useful. This one, the Thunder Brew.
Okay. No, this looks really nice. I'm gonna leave this here for today. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I will have a new Hogwarts video soon, but I also may be doing um, another game because one of my favorite games just came out with an expansion for a DLC. So I wanna wanna get some of that in too, um, and just do like a first look of that. But I will still be doing the Hogwarts. I really love this game. I'm having a lot of fun. And I'm going to keep going with the series until we're done. I want to be done with it one day. But not today. And I really want to find out if the centaurs end up becoming our friends. Because that would be kind of cool. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Bye!